and I'm welcome to the 19th tutorial of Swift programming series and in this part we're going to look at classes. Classes are templates that allow you to define variables and methods. Objects can be created of classes which, which have all the variables and methods allowing you to use them. For example, you may have a car class which is just generic and you can have several objects of the car class. So you could have a BMW car class, you could have a Mercedes car class, Going even further, which won't really be covered in this tutorial, but you can inherit from classes as well. So you could have a general vehicle class, and then you could have a car class that inherits from the vehicle class. You know, it has the basics like acceleration, speed, and any parts it might have. And then you could have a bike that inherits from the vehicle class. And then from let's say the in the car class, you could have classes that inherit from that for example maybe a bm no, uh, yeah a, a bmw or a mercedes and so forth and uh, maybe from that one you could even have a class that inherit from that which could be the model it depends on how deep you want to go within the application but again we're just going to cover classes and it's going to create a simple car class so you can see how beneficial classes are classes are part of oop which is object oriented programming which Swift is obviously, um, C isn't, Objective C is, C is, and most of the languages that are used nowadays are pretty much OOP because it's one of the more, it's one of the core fundamentals behind programming nowadays, object oriented programming, allowing to obst abstract certain functions and um, variables and properties into classes and then instantiate objects from it. But so yeah, to declare a class you use the keyword class and then the name of the class and then put car. And I want to create two variables. Speed, you have to put a default uh, value on to put 100. Strength, I mean I have to put the keyword var strength, put the 100. And also, we're going to put a function, it's going to be func damage, not demage car, damage, ah, damage car is going to take a integer called damage, colon, int. And what it's just simply going to do is do strength minus equals damage, so we'll take away the amount of damage received from its strength. That's it for the class. Now what we're going to do is actually create a variable. So var, we're going to call it BMW, equals to. So we're going to instantiate this class. I'm going to put car, open, close, bracket. And now that it's been instantiated, if we do print line BMW.strength, and we print that out, it prints out 100. What we're also going to do is bmw.damagecar, we're going to specify a value of 20. Then we're going to do print line, yeah, I need to spell print line properly for print line, bmw.strength again, run it, and it now shows 80 because it's damaged it and now it's got it, because it's got its own properties, it's sorted that out. But what also we can do is we're going to create a new variable called var uh, of Honda equals car and if we print line honda dot strength run that we've got 100 and the reason we got 100 not 80 is because this is a separate object its method and its variables are separate to the method and variables of the bmw object or any other object of car so that's pretty cool so you can have their own properties that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the class constructor. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support us on the system.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. As usual, all the required links will be in the description for the source code. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.